These two shelves are going to be a lot more crowded once this video is over. Welcome back everybody. It's time to lock down another Glios video. I've established my shelf over here and I've been slowing down on buying some Glios. I'm honing in on what I actually want to see in my collection, which I showed at the beginning of the video is mainly these two shelves up here, armivores and skeletons. Really, really cool designs. I love both these designs and the looks of these figures and I've already Got a review of skeletons. If there's any interest in a review of armivores, I've already been talking to Godbeast and stuff about doing a future review where I can talk to him about the process. So if that's something that would interest you guys, let me know in the comments below. And also make sure to subscribe for more Glios content. Now we haven't done a proper Glios video in a minute. Again, because I've kind of slowed down on purchasing and uh, a lot of the community and people selling has also kind of slowed down as well. And we're also in between drops for a lot of the different creators of Glios. Although one of them did just have a drop, we are gonna be going over a couple of those figures in this video. But I've got some packages to open. And these are pretty much all exclusively armivores and skeletons, except for this one which we'll go into in just a minute but the rest are amazing looking armivore and skeleton glios figures that i do not have uh, i've been trying to piece together most of the ones i'm missing and this has a bunch that i haven't got my hands on yet but now i have them so i'm very very excited to open these up so let's do it new angle over here now first up we've got this package this comes from a friend of a friend so let's see it let's open this one up and find out what we got in here Oh boy, come on. We got a little package full of extra skeleton material, just some clear plastic ones. Let's pop these out. I think these will uh, be really neat just to use for alternative builds for Glios, as you can see, just some like armor parts and stuff if the camera's gonna focus. There we go, very nice. You can never have too many extra skeleton armors and stuff, but here is one of them now. I thought I got more with this lot. Let's see though, was it just this one? Oh, it might've been just this guy. Okay, let's check him out. He looks super, super dope. Look at this bad boy. Whoa, he is stellar. I'm gonna put the names up on screen of the official names, but they are so hard to actually like memorize. That's not even worth it for me sometimes. He's a cool skeleton. That's, that's what we're looking at here. It looks like we got, ooh, we got like little cannon blaster extra part which is very nice let's get his uh we'll leave the rest of the stuff in the bag but let's get his legendary axe out here boom really really dope love that look he is such a awesome looking green one of my favorite colors so this guy is just he's got like a sweet like metallic going on and then that nice translucent and you guys know i love the translucent stuff so this one is a fantastic addition one i don't have i have one similar to this green but it's not this specific one with like the green metal variant shade on his coloring choices So we'll put him up there, and I thought I had one more in this one, but I guess not. I'm going to have to double check my order. But that's all right. We got another package that I know is filled to the brim with a ton of stuff. This comes from Classic Crazy Bones. Check him out on the Instagram. Friend of mine, he's hooked me up with plenty of Crazy Bones, plenty of Goliaths, and uh, he's always keen to share his findings and stuff with me. So this is some of the ones he gave me. Oh, he gave me a little freebie. Yo! That is a sick freebie. I don't have any of him. Yo, that is really cool. That's like a fade in little thing. Fade in skeleton. Ooh. Ooh, that's sharp. I love that. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate the freebies. I love the freebies. What else we got in here? Oh, ho, ho. well, would you look at that? He sent me a crazy bone. Let's see. He's got a little note in here too. And like, there's some other little things. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Speedy is a little beat up, but it's my only duplicate. Oh my gosh. Dang. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I love Speedy. He's such a cool figure. Oh man. And I just put away all my series one stuff too. And I even got a mini one. I'm going to have to ask him about these because these are like, man, is the camera even going to pick up on that? Holy cow. Look at that. Look at how tiny he is. 
smaller than my thumbnail, my very beat up small thumbnail. And what is this guy? I can't, oh, is this a, this is a Blastoise. It's a little mini Blastoise. That's cool. It almost looks like it. I know he's done some like resin casting stuff before, or it almost looks like a 3D print type thing too. No, it's definitely not 3D printed. That is super cool though. That is an awesome throw and I appreciate it. Don't want to lose those guys. That speedy is really cool. All right, let's get out some of the main stuff here. Oh, oh, I'm so conflicted on this one. <laughs> this one's so cool though. Look at this, look at this. Oh my goodness. Armivore Infection, God Beast, Jason Fraley, O'Neill Designs. Look at how stellar this, oh, this translucent red Armivore is. Holy cow, it's so cool. I've been eyeing this one, wanting to get it, uh, and he had one brand new in the packaging. And I don't know whether or not to keep him in the packaging or not. You know, it's kind of one of those tough ones where I like the fact that he's just brand new. I don't really want to open him because I think he just looks sweet. I'm going to have to find like a good spot, but this is really cool. And this is a uh, C2E2 Expo exclusive, uh, which I wonder what year this was from. I'm going to have to look it up. I wonder if this is from the first C2E2. I'm curious. This is so sick though. He looks so cool. I can't wait to have like a, the normal, I, I got to get him loose basically because I want him up on my shelf standing, uh, but I can't bring myself to open that yet. But C2E2, I went to the very, very first C2E2 that was ever held in Chicago. It's one of my first conventions I went to as a comic book artist myself. Uh, so I talked to all the legendary artists. I went to almost every single table, talking to artists, letting them see my portfolio, all this nonsense. David Finch, I even talked to Jim Lee, if anybody knows comic book artists and stuff. Jim Lee's a big time guy. He's, I believe, the director of all of DC now. So it's pretty insane. This was before that time, quite a while ago. So C2E2 stuff, any cool classic stuff from old C2E2 days is uh, has a near and dear place in my heart because that's a, a memory that I will not soon forget. All right, next one. This is one we'll actually be able to take out and fiddle with. So let's see this gold and black shenanigans. Wow, he looks really sharp. I mean, come on. How can you not dig that guy? He is super cool. He had a bunch of them that he was uh, getting rid of out of his collection. I think he's kind of narrowing down too. And I know he's uh, trying to do a lot of stuff in his own life here right now as well. So I think he's reshifting the collection a little bit. So, but he, it was, uh, he was very kind enough to allow me to purchase some of these off of him for my own. So this guy is just stellar, stellar looking man, super dope. I love that gold and black. So, so nice. Let's throw them up there next to the skeleton for now. And let's get out another freebie. Yo, he just can't, he, dude, you hook me up, man. I swear. Dang, dude. That is so cool. An awesome orange Nobutu. I'm actually, I'm going to open this one because this is actually really sweet. I love this one. Come on. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Wow. It's like, it's kind of got the same vibe as the green skeleton, actually. Kind of a similar like metallic-y green paint job, except this is like a opaque metallic -y orange, which is really sweet. I love the Nabutus. Super cool. I actually prefer this head. There we go. He looks stellar. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. That is really, really cool. An awesome, awesome one. I love that coloring too. That, that coloring job on that one is super sweet. Oh, yes. So now we have one that I have been searching for personally for a while. This is uh, on the same vein as that infection one, but this is a green translucent armivore and holy frick is he sweet. Now he was missing the wolf head of this guy. He just has the like kind of robot head, which can also, yeah, yeah, there we go. Flip into the doggy head, which looks pretty sweet. But again, I kind of prefer the classic armivore look. So this one is looking awesome in the light right now. He's going to look so sweet on the shelf. I cannot wait for that. That is going to look amazing. Holy cow, dude. That is really sweet. Jeez. 
yeah, I'm excited for this one. <laughs> I'm going to take some sweet pictures too. I don't know if you guys noticed, but over here in the corner area, I have a little photo booth now where I can take some uh, really cool shots. So hopefully I can showcase that a little bit. Maybe I'll even showcase it a little bit in the video. We'll see. Don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But if you're not following the Instagram, I'm posting a lot of cool shots of all the Glio stuff and Crazy Bone stuff. Go follow me on Instagram, Lockdown51. Check out the cool stuff we got going on there. But this guy is incredible. Holy cow, dude. Is there one more? I think we have one more. Oh, yes, dude. Man, you had some good ones, dude, in your collection. I'll say this guy is cool. He's got this really nice orange. Again, it's a little bit, a little different tweak of color than just a normal base orange. It's kind of like this faded orange. It looks really sharp, though. I don't know if you could tell how, like, it's kind of, it's not opaque. It's just kind of like a, a dull down orange and it is really cool almost like a cream cream color i guess but really really sharp with nice grays in it as well really cool again one i do not have one i definitely want to get because he just looked awesome really really sharp holy cow man that is such a a cool figure dang legendary figure i love this guy again also missing the the wolf head but we just got this one and that's fine because that's typically what i keep them on second package down and we're going to take a break from the armivores and skeletons we've got this package this is coming from cappy space they just did a new launch i tried to get in right away uh, and I was, I was, I was right there on time, but they were selling out mad quick. Uh, so I wasn't able to get everything I wanted. I wanted to get some like cool blanks and stuff, but let me show you what cool, eh, outlanders I got. I do on occasion grab some outlander characters because they are really well designed as well. In my opinion, he's always got like nice packaging on his stuff with a little thank you. Let's dump it out. So let's see it. We get our freebie characters, kind of similar to the one that Evan over here handed me, except these aren't Fadens. These are just their other little mutant characters. So I got one main character here, really. He's got this cool, like, kind of pumpkin head look to him. It looks really funny. I'm going to open him. He's got so many pieces, though. I'm just going to try to put together his main legs and stuff okay there is the main figure and he looks sweet he is glow in the dark which is a uh, added little plus because i do like seeing all my glow in the dark glios light up when i turn off the lights for the night so this guy is a really cool glow in the dark one i like his vibes again his uh his head is pretty neat i like the kind of pumpkin thing and i think it'll fit well with maybe a different character but not this one specifically i'm not a huge Okay, just broke in half. Not a huge fan of this head on this figure, so let's go with, like, his classic alien head. Look at that. Bang, that looks stellar. That looks freaking awesome. Or we could go with the female alien head, which is awesome as well. I love this look. And it has a smaller head because you can drop the helmets on. So we got this helmet here, which you can actually, like, click on. It's pretty sick. I love the helmet design that Cappy did. So smart, so smart. Something that hasn't really been seen in Glio. So then we got like this helmet, really cool kind of like Cyclops helmet look thing. And then we got like this one. Ooh, that one's kind of neat too. I like the reverse of that as well. That'd be cool with some like different painting, I think. And then we've got uh, this one. Ooh, also looks really cool. Very alien-esque. Classic gray look. So there's that figure. He's really sweet. And then I also got a bag full of purple base, uh, just unpainted heads. So all these different heads and accessories. You can see the small, small like female ones and stuff. But then there's like this one. Let me pull it up because I'm not going to open it right now. But... Look at that like cool like bunny head thing. I think these could be really, really neat for some really cool paint jobs. We got some of the helmets and different things. I, I'm looking forward to trying to get detailing on this, these like Glios heads specifically, make a cool like lockdown figure. These are exactly the purples I like to find in my Glios. I tried to get a whole base model of the purple one, but they were like sold out so incredibly fast. Uh, they must have had a very, very, very limited amount of these bad boys because i was really only able to get my hands on this i think i could have got the base of 
the glow in the dark, but I didn't mind just getting this. I think I might even customize some of these parts as well. We'll see. Another cool looking drop from Cappy Space. So very nice to get his figures from time to time. Uh, now we got the last package. Let's go into this one. This is another one from Evan and uh, it's got some other really neat figures in it. Ugh, let's get it open. Let's see it. All right, how are these? Oh, okay. We're gonna bring them down here. They're all in one bag. So let's see what we got in this one. Ah, yes, let's do another, another skeleton. Ooh, this guy is like a bronze skeleton, a metal bronze skeleton. Let's check him out. He's already got his little, oh, there goes a leg. I'll get that a little bit later, but ooh, bang. Wow, that guy pops. Holy crap, that's awesome. That is so, so sick. Dang. I love the eye glow on these guys. And again, this bronze just looks super dope. One I was missing, one I, that I didn't even know like existed. I hadn't seen this one before. So when I saw it, I was like, oh, please let me have that one. That one is really cool. Uh, this one is going to go right here because I want to move on to some other ones that are very, very dope. Not like that one isn't, but there are a couple other ones in here that are extremely, extremely cool, especially the armivores. This one I'm very excited for too. Again, it's kind of like the green one. I have one very similar to this, uh, this purple and like black vibe, but not this one. That, that metal silver and that translucent purple, oh, just hits me just right. Where's this ax? Let's check that out. Bang, ooh, that is really freaking fire. Wow, I love this guy. He's so neat. Basically, I have one in these exact same colors, uh, but it is not translucent. It's just the regular like base paint purple with the metal. So having the translucent version is just super sweet. I love this look. He looks amazing. Can't wait to shoot this guy in some awesome lighting as well. Super dope. All right, let's pull out this one. Let's see, this is uh, an armivore. Very cool armivore in a translucent blue. These are the ones, these ones that are kind of, I feel like hard to find because people hold on to these. He's got the classic, I forget what the name of these aliens are, this classic head, but he's actually holding his other one. So I'm just gonna pop this one off because I'm not a huge fan of this kind of like weird reptile dino head. I think it'd be cool in some respects, but I much prefer, much, much, much prefer the armivore head. So there we go, bang. Wow, that is super dope. Again, <laughs> I'm a sucker for these translucents and he presented me with getting like, you know, four or five translucent ones. And so I was like, give me the red, give me the green, give me the blue. And you'll see the next one here too. It's also translucent, just a little spoiler, but this guy is freaking phenomenal. Zoom in, there we go, bang. Ooh, that is so nice. I love that. I love the little white highlights and that blue just, oh, it's beaming. All right, last one. Let's get him out and check this guy out. We've got an awesome glitter armivore. He's like a translucent glitter-like thing. Uh, kind of looks like a galaxy. It's kind of got like space galaxy vibes. Again, I'm going to switch those heads. It's a cool head. You can check it out. It's got a nice metal blue, which is sweet, but I much prefer the armivore head. There we go. Boom. Wow. This guy is so freaking cool just look at how dope that is that is so freaking dope man i love this guy again another figure that you just don't see you just don't see this guy he's just so cool there's the doggy head bang very nice the back even is highlighted here on the back part which is nice and i love how the the ears look they kind of give off like a purple hue it's very interesting and very unique i love the uniqueness of this one i i you don't see a lot of this like glitter effect in Glyos either, honestly. It doesn't show up a ton. And I can't even think of like other ones that would have it. Or if there's a skeleton that has it, I'm not even sure. Uh, I know there's a couple others, but this guy is just really unique, really sharp. He's going to pop out on that shelf up there. It's going to look really, really good. And yeah, man, dude, these are awesome. I'm super happy. Thank you, Evan, again. Go follow him on Instagram. Show him some love. I really appreciate all the freebies here, too. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Glyos content as much as I enjoyed going through it and opening it. This was a ton of fun. 
I can't wait to put these guys on the shelf and make room and sort out what I need to move around on that thing. But they are going to look super dope. I'm very stoked for that. But what's your favorite type of content on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. Is it the unboxings, the TCGs, is it the Crazy Bone, or is it the Glio specifically? I want to hear from you guys, the viewers. In the meantime, be on the lookout for more awesome content coming your way. I've got more packages I'll be looking to open up, some awesome, awesome stuff that I'm very excited for. So be ready for those. Have a great rest of your week, and we will see you guys in the next video.